Okay. Good evening. Good night. Good morning. Good afternoon to some of you. According to your location on the face of this planet Earth. We welcome you all to our today's live broadcast right here from our homeland radio Biafra here in Biafra land where I am broadcasting from. I remain the fearless IPOB evangelist Mazen Madabjamachuku. I am from Mundiabo. Mundiabo is in Aniri. Aniri is a local government in Ojiriva province, Biafra land. I am a homeland broadcaster under IPOB. Now the country is our leader, and he will continue to lead us as he is leading us from DSS solitary confinement. It is a very big blow to the Nigerian government, despite all their efforts to stop Namdekan, even upon the attempt to kill him in Kenya, even on the extraordinary rendition and the disobedient to court orders, and his continuous illegal detention in DSS solitary confinement, despite denial, um, DSS uh, refusal to or allow, disallowing him from meeting his personal doc. Upon that, in all these circumstances created by Nigerian government illegally, unlawfully, Namdekan is still leading us. Despite all these things, he is still leading us. Even upon the conspiracy by the governors from the East, Namdekan is still leading us. Despite all the gathering in different parts of the world against Namdekan and IPOB, he is still leading us from DSS. It's a very serious blow to the Nigerian government and the conspirators, those that are against the freedom of the victims of this very British prison in Africa, where every citizen are condemned criminals that even the police have the right to kill you. As a citizen of Nigeria, you are a condemned criminal found yourself in a British prison in Africa called Nigeria. We are a civil defense can shoot you to death. We are a policeman can bring you down at any time. We are an army who is supposed to be at the active boundaries will be on the road to shoot you dead. We are even a force who will come to the community and bombard the community without anything because you are a condemned criminal. You are a condemned criminal. Any citizen of Nigeria is a condemned criminal. Everybody can, anybody can kill you, any government official can kill you, any government official can also take what belongs to you because you are in jail. Not even in jail as an awaiting trial mate or as a convict with terms of jail. No, this one is condemned criminal. You come on the road or you are going to church. A flying bullet will come and kill you. They call it at the accidental discharge. It is never accidental discharge. The gun was not produced in Nigeria. Why is it that the country where the gun is coming from, guns and the bullet, there is no accidental discharge there? In the foreign countries. It's only in Nigeria. Accidental discharge. A policeman at checking point will shoot, shoot down a, um, a cyclist or a passenger or a driver, anybody is, can be killed, right? Because you are a condemned criminal. You are in CC block. Nigeria is CC. Condemned, that is a prison. Nigeria is a prison yard. And in this very prison yard, is a British prison. In this prison yard, there is no awaiting trial. There is no life, life imprisonment made. There is no um, 
convict. Let's say I'm like four years convict that have years or times to spend in prison and go. Everybody in this prison, I'm telling you about this Nigeria, this place they call Nigeria, a British prison in Africa. Everybody is a condemned criminal. See, see, sentenced to death. By any means, whether by hanging, you know, whether by shooting, you know, you know, murder is by hanging. And robbery is by murder, by, um, by firearm, right? But in Nigeria, then everybody is a condemned criminal. You can fall victim of firearm. You can fall victim of anyone, full of killing, full of harassment. They will butcher you. Anybody can kill you. Even road safety can cause accident, you die. Even a container can fall where there is a bad road, you will die because you are a condemned criminal. You will even follow the desert to escape. You will still die. Many will die, many will succeed. Majority will die because you are a condemned criminal. Your election can be rigged and the people you did not vote for will be put there because you are a condemned criminal. Condemned criminal, you are in CC block. Now you understand why your container can be seized. Now you understand why the uproot, the, the, your place is not okay. The roads in Nigeria have not been okay. They constructed road line, rail line to the Nigerian Republic. The refineries in Nigeria is not okay. But they constructed the refinery in Nigeria Republic. The road in Nigeria is the rail line, the road in Nigeria is not okay. Not okay. They constructed road to Nigeria Republic. Because you are a condemned criminal. Now you understand. Facebook, I know you are angry. I will keep will keep exposing Nigeria. IPOB, that is why we are here. We don't get tired. We don't have tenor. The other tenor is gone. Another one came in. Thinking that IPOB is like uh, is tough. You know? You know, when you come in, you will think as if Buhari or other people, even when Buhari was alive in 2017, he died in 2017, he couldn't do IPOB anything. It doesn't matter his general. Upon the general of Buhari, he died. Buhari died. January 2017. Upon the tyranny and the dictatorship of um, Abba Kiyari, he died. Upon the Wickedness of Issa from Tua, he died. Upon how dangerous Maman Daura is, was, he died. Because Namikan and IPOB is involved. This only tenor that came in. It doesn't matter how you planned it, how wicked you are, how you think. All of you have been appointed. Those criminals have been appointed. Reno Mokri is part of the cabinet. Falika Yode is a part of the cabinet. Right? But we are here now. You came for a tenor. We don't have tenor. We will destroy anybody that come in as a, in, a, in, a, in office and they have IPOB in mind. We are here. If we agitate for Biafra, they will be killing us. If we don't agitate for Biafra, you will be killing us. So why should we back down? Have we been okay in Nigeria? Have we been safe? So it's not that you came in the name of Biafra. I can never live here in the name of Nigeria. I don't like, I, I better be, a, I, I better be, that is, be on my own. Then I don't have what I will eat. Than to be a slave. We can, it is not in our nature. So if you come in as a governor, as anything, or a senator, or a cabinet member of a Tunutirubu government, that is your business if you have that people in mind. We are waiting for Lucifer already. We have seen Buratai. Where is Buratai? Up on the Python dance, where are they? We have seen Atahiru. Who died? Of um, the same bandit killed him. They shot him down. They call it Ben Crash. He was shot down. Atahiru. The one who was in charge of a two division in Nuku. Doing Python dance. 
Ayawa, the Thai POP, we always, always love to meet the Lucifer. So maybe you are appointed now, you know, you will think either on media, as a media aide, or advisor on media, or whatever you are, or you think you have anything to do, with, we are here, you are few. How many Nigerians can voluntarily defend Nigeria? How many Nigerians? So you that was appointed or is appointed, now you think that few idiots that will come to comment on your post, like Irene Mokri, few idiots that idiots like you and fools like you that will come to comment in support of your useless and failed agenda against IPOB. And you think those people can voluntarily do it? No. Only in IPOB you can see volunteers. Who will spend their money, spend their time, give out anything they have to make sure their people are safe. For your information, the freedom of Fulham the Khan is the matter at hand. That cannot be forgotten. Do not pretend. Some people are pretending. Are you trying to pretend? So Nigeria want to pretend that there is no problem. You are dreaming. You are dreaming. We want, we have seen the list of um, the Lucifer, uh, the, the children of um, Lucifer's that are in the cabinet of Telugu. We knew them and we knew the good ones there. Right? Though they can change. But we help you, doesn't change, and our God never changes. We have somebody like Falana, as an attorney general, a respected man that uh, even our leader can become respect him. But if he think that he can be dead, they change him. But we know uh, Falana, you know, Femi Falana as the attorney general under Tinubu as well. As we can see it on the list, after our leader has sent for him, and um, he said he is writing about the case of Fernando Khan anywhere, right? And to see how far Fernando Khan is in spirit, and you can see there are things that is happening there anywhere. But we know among them there are good ones. But Reno Mokri is never good. Fanika Yode, you can never be good. Because there is no good that can cover your evil. Are you aware? And that is why we are here. We don't beg anybody. Mind you that none can have no case. There is no government. You don't think you are in another new government. Then IPOB is coming to beg you. We don't beg. We have won the battle. The constitution that installed the court or established the court or whatever. The court that ruled on the favor of Namika. The court that have, that discharging American is backed up by the same constitution which you want to rule it. We are not here to beg you. When we were asking for free American when the ruling of the court has not come, that time we say free him unconditionally. Give us them from your friends. Now, the court has discharged in American. We are asking you to pay court order. Any government that, come, that comes in, we know we are in a better position because our God always do it right. Earlier, he discharged an American and acquitted him. So, if you think you were sent by devil, or you are devil yourself, or Lucifer, you have no business with the case of an American than to flee because he is not standing in the trial. Will you prepare another charges? Will you kidnap him new? Will you destroy him new? And suddenly they decide him, no, no, that one has passed, that one has come and gone. Will you take us to pick up again? And no, we have won you. We are the people that took you to Supreme, the Nigerian government. So, anybody, forget Facebook, that is their business, I don't have any business with them. Then to broadcast from here, remove people, allow them, that's your business. Facebook, I don't care. The very truth must be told. We speak it out, and that is why we are here. And on that point, we are going to pray. We are going to pray. Nare kele naro tuto naro jitama na mbulelu ibuchi ina di rebe chine ke buchi chine ke di biya chine ke di na na chine ke na mbikan chine ke ipiyobi 
Email on your one email, as we do email. Trek and I am, Trek and I am Dara. Trek and I am, Trek and I are keen. Trek and I am your member. Trek and I am your cousin. Trek and I am your chum. Trek and I am your tassel. Trek and I am your sister. Trek and I am your onubu. Trek and I am your oko. Trek and I am your nina and a chat on over. Nareke then I wrote to. Odi hana acho acho no wa na no gino gudan ole se mabu kai na acho tabe mabu ma la hini ne zuko kehi obi ya beri alaze ufoda hi aje ufu bata na la beke ufu kai na acho tabe ma no chana la ufu na na la biya fry mani hi no chia nde dana na la biya fry hi ne o shimini na la biya fry hi ne a hi an kete na na la biya fry hi ne. Nareke then I wrote to a butchy. Behind the group, they made the money, never in no. Macani, a bucket, a bucket, a banyazo, came by with the leader. Oh, Yamel, only now my own eye, own eye in the asso, own eye so lasso, Yaboki, or I'll try and go of wine. Had I try and go of wine, I'll try your dice, but how much in our booky, butchy, only I did this leak. Let look how far I'm walk, put the eleven in the ditch. I get Jay Bushan. Time I can open a line, the band of me, the butch. A bucket of my house, up and right up. Everything I'm becoming like you be late in a month. Oh, but also, so I get Jay Merrick's the Megida. Now, bon continue on detention of Nam de Cano. I can get you part of that weapon, which then I get me the butch. Half of Nam de Cano. We're on a dozen, which then I get it. I am an account punishment. It's continuous sinical detention or punishment to Nigeria. But he can only give me a two hours or two hours. Many and two hours are happening on the can. The Nigeria man, they look on a barrel. They get back to the office and they check where. How can I manage this? My can I ever? I can't get there. I'm a Briton who is in the Nigeria. I am a man. And they give out to you, who is in the Biafra, who is in the Odudua. Nigeria. Obu yigi nyele statement chukwa abiyama. Obu yigi kuputara. Ebu mnobi inji ike. Makana huo jike. Ole kere uluka adu ole brite. Obu ya kule ebu mnobi yoji ike na jile. Yaka hija yoni. Kusa ebe di otua. Nandine na ebe abu ndama ni bongu. Sitena a brite. Ami mweriki ibo buwani. Polisi mweriki buwani. Fula ni US men mweriki buwani. Ole obu na di fri ibu odi obu la. Ola itire. Makana ama kwenye obu li ibo mwe ba. Yaka hija yoni nina ebi asa. Mano bula ane ba anuko, no bo bocho anuru ya. Nare kele, nare ututu, nare jina ama. Makana ye mani ike jikwe na jire ya webi biye na jire. Ae biyo bi unko oro, ike jie soso. Ndi na jire jira ka hame biyo ma. Be ka hame rende oso, a point, ka hachi wa. O tuwa, ki ike jikwa ndi antuzi ya ka, hake jie eji. Ka hame ike me gita ye biyo bi, me biyo ma. I am talking about my joy. Come on, I'm going to get to the IPO. We are 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 going to get to the IPO. Me bo kwa ya kamera no ye dio tuwa. Me li jina alea mi. I me lo nye mwa ni. Makana. Rue go wa soto. Ayin ka de chandu. O bandi a me le e landa si blokit. Ayin a mo chakwa lo mo no bodo di chichi. Kama no mo a yon mo ki bo bodo. Na bo yi mi nyanayi biyafi. Ayin mo e sekrit. Na bo yi mi nyanayi biyafi. Ayin mo ambasado. Na bo yi mi nyanayi biyafi. Na ni ki wo ambasado anyo gwa. Na ni bo sekrit anyo gwa. Lele ba na ara anya anya, nubo do di chichi. Yade kanye mwe wubo do. Yade kubo do anya kwa di asi. Yade ke igosi yani. Okwa makandiro. 
Imerala wa haba temba. Iji we tanya mwe kai na yo. Ba ara se na anyi no. Ba ara se na anyi. Na anyi akwado ge la le no kai no no wali na ba ko kwe mo ta tetumen. Ihe ogwo oro aka gi. Anya acho ge la anya mata go. Anya mata go me na anya bere chuku abia ma. Anya mata go. Itida ni mantu ani ihe anya basa wali ne. Anya yo gi bi ko chuku abia ma. Le kwe ndi ke tiri nde se na ha unde ba so no chuchu. Iji pe na ta anya ho ma na se na wote na jedobe. Makarandi ya hapo lopo vano isi na mparo wanya uwa. Haka ni lusi fanjo. Mande sireto. Yaka ena yoki. Ono bula wa IPOP. Mwapunye hii mekide bia frako kuno. Meke chichi ya kudoya. Meke chichi ya kudoya. Ono nuku ono nandita. Ono na uwa nya u. Ono nandita ya. Nani ki puri ime ya. Makana. Ele chalanyi hundo uwe mkwa kwa hiju. Ibe ni kwenye ya hadi yufi, makara hindi. Kami ina landi ilo ni laha ni bibi ya. Ongo kwa mba isi, kebe bie ndi Nigeria. Inga isi ugi ibe bie Nigeria. Ma tonde mundi brite ni uji tuna Nigeria nabu. Oko ya kaina yu. To rudu wa nabu. To ari wa nabu. To abi afra nabu. Ma bibi ya Nigeria. Mi bibi ya Nigeria. Ndi njiyo tu akaya toha nabu. Ono ya kere Nigeria uluka. Ay chro kandi ki ikere te. Ogi ikere biafra. Ogi ikere duduwa. Ogi ikere hale wa chukwa biyama. Ya ka ay chro ka ote. Ode nda ay chro ka hame bibi e no uwa. Na bo e na ichiri ya. Aha anu. Bari ye ya. Mandini de si no aga ade. La hani yi. Nde si si nandi di otua. Na re ya aga ade free. Ma biafra aga ade free. O duduwa aga ade free. Go. Abu kwa non di hale wale yuko. Kama non di na akwa do. Ka ay pro kwa di na ichiri ya. E suto. Bibi e nde di otu. La hani yi. Makala na ichiri ya ne wetongu. Ogro no ne we tendu. Ay mani ka kwa te. On ne we tong. On ne we taga yi ni. On ne we tini siki. On ne we kwa ngwa kwa ngwe ru we ru. Na hon. On ne we pa no ne da nyan na na jine. Ya mani ayin di ayok. Ba sa ay. Ti sa ay. Ton nan de kano na hon. Na ne ke le. Na ro tutu. Ne 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 bo ti. Na hagi. Chi. Uku. O kike. Abya. Amara. Pro. Ime. We have prayed. He said, he said, he said, thank you. Let us share the program as we move. We'll continue to push them. Relentlessly as we are the key. And you are key IPOP. You don't overlook us. Hey, let us pretend you are dreaming. Pretending on IPOP. Why do you pretend that you don't see IPOP? When we started, the Nigeria said they would pretend. Hey, don't talk about them. Hi. After your pretense, what, what was the cases in court? And what are the cases? In, even the cases in court. The ones who have defeated and the ones that are still in court. What is it talking about? Namdekano versus federal government. Can you understand? Can you understand? Where is Okechu? The then NBC. Booze. National Broadcasting Commission. Hey, we are done with your Biafra. It was in the beginning, 2015. October, when they celebrated. Sorry, September, 2015. When they celebrated the jamming down of, uh, the, the jamming of Radio Biafra. Falsely. Hey, don't publish them. Today you publish us. Even when criminals go to robbery. Even when infiltrators go and kill and commit crime. You publish IPO. Right? It is now you try to publish us in order to criminalize us. Right? When we kidnap as kidnap, you add IPO. Even the Nigerian police, especially those in Anambra, the Commissioner of Police Anambra and Imo, they keep singing IPO like a song. We don't know the kind of Commissioner of Police they brought to Anambra. Imagine police attacking U.S. convoy. In our world, since then they have been sponsoring it to target IPOB. To target IPOB. Because USA is disturbing them to free them. They want to prove USA wrong. That the Namdekan is a terrorist. That is what they, are, they want to prove them. Because Nigeria refused to inform Nigerians of the upper hands that are coming on them to free Namdekan. They keep calm. 
I see it's nothing is happening. But messages are on your table to free Namdekan from international community. And you want to start with the US to you prove you want to prove it that I feel is a trace. After all, they attack US convoy. And immediately you discover his IPOP. Right? But we have never seen a full and honest man you presented in court. Not to pre just present them in court. But the full and honest man is all over the media and the whole people know they are the people killing people. Now, what I asked the Anambra Commissioner of Police as he said that when his men, the Navy they called, the Navy that was closer to that place and the joint team came uh, at the a scene of crime or what, right? Then the uh, assolants escaped through the nearby bush and uh, suspected to be IPOB ESN. Now, you get the point, what they want to do. Trying to take the mind of USA away from the full and invasion of our communities. Now, we still want to bring this very question to the Notice of anybody that will listen to this very broadcast. We want to ask you, before you press, you, you see people that run into the bush in Biafra land, you know, criminal escape through the bush, you confirm it's ESM. Now we ask you, why was ESM launched? ESM was launched because Nigerian federal government Sponsored um, Fulani Hesman, uh, Fulani terrorist in this guise as Hesman to be destroying our farmlands, raping our mothers, daughters, wives, after raping, killing them, abducting our people and collecting ransom, taking over our land by force, farmlands. Then Chasing our people away from their farmlands. That's what the Fulani have been committing in the land of Yaf. Mazin Namdekanu wrote the wrote to the Southeast governors. He wrote to the South South as they created it. Governors means that he wrote to the governors from the eastern region, Biafra land. To go into the constitution that they will see their constitutional rights that allows them or give them the ground or power to protect their people, the people they are ruling in their state. They have the right. They have the right because they were voted in as the number one secret. These people ignored it, which is called negligence of duty and inefficiency of duty because it wasn't a story full of investment, invasion, and killing. It is reality, and then they knew it is reality. They witnessed it. Not a gossip or not just a rumor. They knew it happens, and it was happening, and it is still happening. That's why ESM was launched. That is to say that full and enhancement terrorists sponsored by Nigerian government, first of all, occupy our bushes before ESM was launched to counter them. ESM is like anti-terrorism vigilante or security outfit. And that is why they were launched. That's why ESM does not operate in the communities like Nigerian police Anambra incited because that is an inciting statement right? ESN does not operate in the communities when ESN was launched they were launched to attack Fulani Hesman terrorists now, get the picture what they want to use the commissioner of police of Anambra state to do as it was planned by APC, as a weapon, they prepared to hold at hand and hand over to the new government 
as what they will be presenting to the international community. Because the ABC planned it with these people that comes in. They plan the attack on U.S. and convoy. No individual will have the intel that U.S. convoy or a foreign convoy was moving from far away Lagos to the east. It is impossible. Apart from the government on seats or in power, nobody, apart from the security agencies, nobody will have the intel. Right? Because it was only the U.S. convoy that was attacked. Had it been that there was general attack in every area in Anambra, you would say that that um, U.S. convoy for victim, that criminal entered Anambra, right? But this one was set up by the Nigerian police in Anambra, which was planned by the APC, the past the government that just handed over, and the one that they handed over to, because the people they handed over to are using this as an agenda presenting to the U.S. government and to the world now, which is to say they were all involved in the plan, and that is why we are here. We are asking Anambra State Governor to also give statement, because it happened in his state. You can see what they are doing in Obaru. They are killing our people in Obaru. And the governor is not saying anything because they kill, they massacre. So, Ludo, that thing, Uzzalimba did, that's what you are bringing because this is how they comes in. When they kill, they will kidnap some people and say that ESM, that they attack a U.S. convoy. Did you understand? But, Ali Wangunu, the former national security advisor, planned and killed Ahmed Gulak, because he has the intel as the National Security Advisor, he knows the information about the movements of people through airport and every other, both land and air. He set up those that will kill Ahmed Gulak in the state where they have signed as a state that will be used to blackmail IPOB. That's evil state. Facebook is dealing with our people. And they our evil state has fell. They don't channel it to Anambra. They are still in our law, you know, in our battle. Now, the Nigerian police planned it, uh, the APC government planned it with Nigerian police because they felt in their EEE, -E -E IEP, uh, is it in a global tourism world index, they fell in their report because IPOB confronted the very organization and they retraced their step and did the next one. Right? That one fell. Now that the entire community is persuading Nigeria to free down the canal, they planned and attack US convoy. Through the Commission of Police by Anna State. Now the Commission of Police and Anna State should swear if he has no hand in the attack on US convoy. Adam Brasted Commissioner of Police planned the attack on U.S. convoy. Do you know why? Tell me. Even the U.S. is aware. But because they have been allowed to be going for oil boundary in our state, so they can be treated as children because that is conscience. When your conscience is not clear, you will be rebooted. That is why Nigeria that the USA knew that they are state, um, they are terrorist states. Knowing that they recruit terrorists into the army and the police, civil defense, navy, air force, um, road safety, custom. And the every other government um, institutions. But in the universities, Boko Haram are being recruited there. USA is aware of that all the sponsors of Boko Haram from Nigeria that they publish their name, none of them is facing or standing trial. None of them have been arrested. None of them have even been approached by the Nigerian government. Now you ask them, how can USA listen to such a country? When you expose criminals, they refuse to prosecute them.
But you can welcome an allegation that IPOB attacked your convoy, which you knew that only the Nigerian government or the security agencies are the people that can have the access or the information that such people are moving. No ordinary person, ordinary person can never have the intel. Only the government of that country that have the intel of the movement of foreign envoy. Now you understand? Commissioner of Police and Ambra State set up the the what is it called? The policeman that was on ambush, that lay ambush against the US convoy. That's why you can see them, you can see them for them to perfect it because I probably have exposed them. They not sent the army in an in a body to be killing people so that police will get some innocent people and present them to the world. But the people that USA publish that are sponsoring Boko Haram, they never arrested any of them. But you can see them parading some innocent people. Telling them that the people that attack US and convoy, that the IPOB, but they never paraded full of US men. What are they trying to do? The USA have told them that it's not, it is not true. Now they want to prove to them that IPOB did it. But they don't know that that place they are going, we have digged a very big hole. All of them will fall in there. But for you, though, if it's involved, you will fall in there. You cannot be come up. I come for free now. The canoe. Why the army is killing us? Soluto, and you are partially fighting us. And indirectly, you are indirectly fighting us. Small time will monitor that your voice, that your appeal to free the canoe, have become a very serious weapon you are using because the killings going on in Anambra, you should stop it. This blackmail by police, or should we start? Exposing the blackmail of your police in Anambra, blackmailing of IPOB by your police, blackmailing of IPOB by your police. Just salute. You don't care. Anything can be published about IPOB by your police. You don't care. But you can't get us every time the canoe. Salute. Don't think we are children. Don't think we are fools. Mind you that waiting is not wasted. Be patient to receive information. We are not children. You, 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 very soon you see it. You allow them to be taken away. Thereby, you plan with the Nigerian your police in Anambra to blackmail IPOB. Then, so we no, want to ask you, give us, are you just come up in the open and tell the world that are you were aware that US all came for it was coming to Anambra? Or are they coming from humanitarian? The other people say they say that um what is it called? UNICEF. These people say they came for flute. Police said they came because that is a flute. They came for humanitarian, you know, in Anambra in Obadu. That was flute. Or uh, what do they call it? In Anambra. Then this one said UNICEF. USA. Right? Then I want to ask you, what exactly did they go there to do? Then we ask you, the police said they are not even aware, but they knew the people that attacked them. Immediately the men came, they saw the assailants, they escaped through the near flood. Thank you. Flood. You said they came for flood. There was flood in Obaru, right? There was flood in Obaru. Uh, that's what the police said. So USA came. Then, then the US said they came for humanity. Uh, what do they call it? They say UNICEF or whatever they came there to do. That's their business. Then I want to ask you. So such thing is in Anambra and the governor wasn't aware. That's what I want to pick out there. Then that is to say the governor was aware. Now the governor, if he was aware that US convoy was coming to Abaru, that is to say, one of your cabinet members is also aware. And if you are not aware, that is to say, the commissioner of police 
should also be aware. If the commissioner of police is not aware, then why did the commissioner of police come up? If you and the commissioner of police is not aware, how come they are aware of the people that attack them? We are just asking. The superior argument, not just come up, you tell on the had to write in and to it, thinking that we are we are just children. We are asking you. That's a solution. Because professors, professors should be removed from your name. You try to use Iyala to blackmail us, it didn't work. You have been seeing the effort of IPOB in fighting criminality in your state. You never appreciated it. But you will be there. A full army commissioner of police will sit on the Anamba State first headquarter and just read out what Lai Mohammed wrote and gave to them. Today you see them, the new APC government pushing it as the only weapon they have. But there is disobedience to cut out that there. And that will be still quiet. And you are there, they are bringing allegations from your state. You never ask them to prove it. Or, did it happen in Abuja? I think you are in charge of the state. So, have you seen any blackmail on IPOB? Or, let it, don't call it blackmail. All these things they bring in your state against IPOB. Have you investigated, investigated any of them? So, Ludo, what makes you number one governor and number one security of the state? You don't investigate. But you read it. And it doesn't concern you. It will soon concern you. Because you have been said you are you are you are part of the oil test in Anambra Are you telling us you are not aware? But you was a governor of Central Bank, you know about finance. So the Charles Soludo, you knew there was a in Anambra. You knew there are wheelbarrows in Anambra, but you don't know there is oil theft going on in Abaru. Is that what you want to tell us? So, so you, know, you could be able to recognize Abu, but you, that they are there, but you don't know that foreigners are taking up oil in Abaru. Oil bankers. Are you telling us? Now, that is to say you are aware. Now, if you are aware, you are also aware that the U.S. envoy or convoy was coming to battle. Then, if you are supporting the police, that IPOB or ESN is involved, that is to say, you planned it very well. Until you counter the police because you knew that if IPOB is into violence, if IPOB is into violence, you will not even sleep in any part of Nigeria. No governor will be here. All this police you see, but you think you have security. If I feel you is interfering because we will use anything we have on earth to, to do it. We will not do it like Boko Haram. Because one, we are dead already. We are right dead. Your police cannot be deadly like us if we try to pick up arm. Because they want to receive salary, we don't want to receive salary. Your army cannot fight like us. Because they still want to receive salary. We don't want salary because we are not paid. We will fight. And that is why we are telling all of you. Anybody that is using his state or allow Fulani to use his state to blackmail IPOP. This one they should also want this new governor of Anubu State. That idiot they saw they got Pepe Tamba or what? They should call and warn him. Because I can't tell you the local government type your issue. Talk more of state. We have seen Python dance. We have seen so many things. We are not moved. We have seen Fulani yes, men. We have seen different conspiration, conspiracy, conspiracy, or is it conspiracies. We have seen a tobacco that was launched against us. We have seen all this deceive by the governors against our, to, to, against our people. For you to say you ban IPOB sit at home in any state, are you mad? Where is IPOB office in any show me 
Show us why we are happy on behalf of his name. We all say, look, don't just come and we are not, we did not rent an office. We do not rent office. We own the state. We have been there before you came. We have been fighting for me. So you think that IPOB have an office or uh, where we give people tickets or uh, where we send our army or police to go and stop people from going to market. Don't you know our address, Radio Biafra? Don't you know that immediately it is announced on Radio Biafra, your governor becomes useless? Do we flood people to sit at home? People know that all of you are criminals. That's why they respect people that, that do not even have position. People like IPB. We don't have position. No political position. We are freedom fighters. We have not even have a government. But they respect us more than you. So we want to ask you, Peter Mba, the new elected, our people should go back to my broadcast and video I made, I said, because... They don't want to announce the result of Enugu and Abia. Fulani is now persuading the first and second, those that are dragging first and second, the two state, Labour and PDP, Labour and PDP, Enugu. They were dragging them that lasted for four days. Fulani met the, uh, the immediately it is on uh, dragging. It is opportunity of Fulani to enter into agreement with the candidates. They don't even care who will be announced. They will now meet the Labour candidate and say, do you want to rule? You want to, do you want to be announced the winner? Then sign this. They meet the PDP. You, you, don't, you think they are only meeting you? No, they will meet the PDP. They know that two of you, one person must win. Because the other parties have been kept us behind. It remains two of you. That is when Flani will come here. But I said it then, people don't understand. I said, very soon you will hear from what is own. Don't worry now. Don't worry. You must be into agreement. They will call this one and call this one and say, the case is in court. Uh, they, will, they will say, they are about to announce the winner. Sign this. Sign this. Do you understand? Now, when they announce you the winner, you now disagree to implement that. They will tell your opponent to go to court. When your opponent go to court, they will come back to you again. You, the winner. They say, you know your case is in court. Approve this now because you know the, your case is in court. Do you understand? Now, as I, we are talking now, Oath is still under threat because they told the other one to go to court. Okay, anyway. The same thing they did in Enugu. They made agreement with this, the two in Enugu. So anybody that is announced the winner, uh, Fulani is that game. Now you can see Peter Mba trying to implement, implement his own. But he has given the land to Fulani in Ehamufu. The land that about five communities owns the land. That Peter Mba has signed it for Fulani, but we are waiting for him. Now <coughs> we come back to him. Coming into IPOB activities, we are telling you that Peter Mba, the same thing you signed, the Labour candidate also signed it. But IPOB have been here before all of you come. We have been here before you, you came from where you, you feel like tell you to go and really look. Did you win? And he said, I am stopping IPOB sit at home. As if we come with the plane, with the army, to force people, we give order. They respect us because you can never pay the price. You want to come and enjoy a new resources. But we are giving out our own resources to save the land. So how do you think people respond to you than IPU? Are, are you mad? The new governor of Anugu State, his burning seat at home. Just imagine. The idiot. And you think you have started? No, now. You have not just started. We will deal with you. If not, you take If you take a guy, I am not a We can never finish. We don't have tenor. We don't have dates. Our date is Biafra. Obia Hala date is.
Share the program. Oh. Facebook is a, have a lock to the other account. Share this one. Can you understand? Now they can't remain the issue. So it's only a fool that somebody will come and tell you, nah, do you see this boy on my in my armpit and the, this wound on my face and the injury I have on my leg? If I am sleeping now, I sleep like a baby. I don't even feel as if I have wounds. It is a lie. <laughs> it is a lie. There is wound all over the body of Nigeria. Caused by IPOP, we gave you those wounds. So how do you try to tell the world? I am not sleeping fine, though, like a baby. You can never sleep fine. IPOP have wounded Nigeria all over your body. So now they cannot be in detention. And somebody will be deceived and say, No, no, they cannot be forgotten. You are mad. You are very foolish. You forgot where. You say, No, no, they cannot be forgotten. Nigeria will be forgotten. The freedom of no, the no, is most needed. You are sworn in. Then come and move now. No, you know, the cabinet appointed. You will try to be active. Vibrant. You know, you will move now to do your work. But then people will press you down. Go and ask Buhari when he was alive. Hey, general, are you a general? Is Sinubu a general? Is Shetima a general? The guy in cabinet, how many of you are general? We have finished the battle with the Buhari when he was alive. Even uh, Mamanda or all of them tried. Esau from Tua, Abaki Ali. All of them died. That is, um, uh, uh, what is he called? Atahiru. The then GOC, a two division, who was later appointed army chief. When he see them, he was the one who piloted pattern dance. He also led the Bibo massacre. He was also advising on the engineering of the massacre. He is the supervisor of the massacre. Now you know. Thank you. Thank you. We move. We deal with them. We will continue to push them. The case of Unam the Oga, we have won the battle. Do not panic. There are pressures on their table. What is their current weapon? Attack on US convoy. Who attack US convoy or envoy? Nigerian police. Which part of Na which special, which police in Nigeria? Anambra State Police. Who use them? APC. The, the, uh, the past government and the present. They are involved. If the present is not involved, why is their cabinet member, the cabinet members, members of Tinubu, parading such fake news? Nigeria, when will you fail and you know that you, you have, uh, I don't know, when you have been failing, failing, failing. So, when do you want to fail or how do you want to fail? Because you, before you believe that you have failed. We are asking. And when they ask, you say, I fear me, I fear me. We, are, we had a random mercury. Telling me to be to uh, give another statement. He said IPOB is not a terrorist and he is living with IPOB. Do you understand? But uh, Renu Mokri have never asked um, Nigerian government uh, where is a full and man men that are killing people? These are idiots. You know? Only in Nigeria, idiots will be appointed anywhere. Is there anybody that is free in Nigeria? Every Nigerian citizen is a condemned criminal that can be killed at any time. A newly recruited policeman that enter police today can kill you. Why did they kill you? He was in. He was in. He was told that you are all condemned criminal because you are citizen of the British prison in Africa called Nigeria. Do you understand? So you don't know Nigeria is a prison. You are just hearing it. 
if it is a better a prison where you have a waiting trial mates, ATM, you have asylum, you know, for mad people, you have juvenile for underage, you know, you now have um, female. So then in those cells, uh, those departments, apart from the juvenile, there is no convict on the juvenile. Now, in those prisons, they also have CC, condemned criminal block. They have life imprisonment, lifer. They have other convicts. They convicted with that will serve them their term of jail and go. But there is this CC condemned criminal. That is the only thing you have in Nigeria, Nigeria, which is British prison. But other prisons you have it, you have life. But this Nigeria, only condemned criminal. Everybody that is a citizen of Nigeria is a condemned criminal. How? Why do police kill you every day? Why do army kill you? Why the ordinary civil defense that is to protect the civilians kill you? What are the Navy doing on the ground? Navy kills you. Air Force come to community and bombard the community. They kill you. Custom. They even kill you. At the, at the, kill you at the open border for terrorists to come in. Because you are all condemned criminals. Sentenced to death. Accident can kill you, bad road. And upon this, we'll be talking about Biafra restoration through referendum. We do not say we want to declare Biafra. Referendum, that is the only thing you, you can only use to put IPOB right or wrong. But for black men, it, no way. So when we talk about this, Nigerians say, they say no, no, one Nigeria, one Nigeria, red line from the, in the east will be uprooted, removed, sold out. Then the red line will be consulted to Niger Republic. And the call it one Nigeria. Are you not a thief? One Nigeria terrorist will be recruited into the army, police, civil defense, without even publishing their names. So. Without even publishing their names and where they came from. But IPOB, we knew where we came from. We announced them. We have names. We have address. We have handworks. We have offices. They say we are terrorists. They kill us, even when God free us, they refuse us from going. Even when the extraordinary rendition our leader, God to free him, they still hold him. But to tell all this, that I have killed the armies, killed the police, thousands, killed civilians, burned their houses, destroyed army palaces. They are being recruited into the army and police. Hey, repentant Boko Haram. Where did they come from? Which country? Repentant Boko Haram. Where is their village? Now, what is their name? People will say they repent. You only announce the number of Boko Haram that you are recruiting into the army. You don't announce their name. You don't publish their name. So that if I see them at the checking point in my village, I will recognize them. Because you know that you do not just recruit them into the army. You bring them into the army and the police. And you give them even inside the police and the army, you give them special 
commanders. That is to say, they are being recruited into the army, but not all, all of them are under the army command. They have their own special command, even in the barrack. These people you hear, they say, Reverend Boko Haram, they are not even under the command of this uh, direct army. They have their own commander. Their duty is to go to community and burn it down. When they have not recruited Boko Haram into the army and police, do you see arson in communities? Burning down of houses. Do you see it? Now, what, how does terrorists operate? They invade communities, burn it down, kill people. Now, what do Nigerian, these people, they send Nigerian army. When they send them in a village, what do they do? They burn down houses, they kill people. Now, how do you think that they are Nigerian army? When they commit this crime, they will go back. Then Nigerian sports army spokesperson will start giving statement on their behalf. The same thing like Mohammed was given on behalf of Fulani terrorist assessment. Like Mohammed, Femi Adesina, Garo Bashir. Do you understand? They keep defending Fulani while communities cry. They keep defending. They keep writing. They keep demanding for your land. They keep asking for Ruga. They keep asking for ranch. There is nothing they did not ask for. They never tell Fulani to stop. Oh. It is the citizen they are killing that they are giving option. They never give Fulani first men terrorist option. Nigeria government, did you bring option? No. The only people you were giving option for them to live are the citizens of the land. Give them your land. Okay, allow them to live. Uh, leave your crop now. I uh, cow to eat. You know, they never say, Fulani, stop. No, how do they say stop? Fulani is what they have. The Fulani that are killing people are part of the federal government. Thank you. Hey, that block of me, me, man. Excuse me. Hey, that block of me, me, child. I'm back. Do you understand? Thank you. Facebook, you are wasting your time. I must preach it. If you like, show me one person, Vin, or don't show me anything as usual. That's your business. Keep removing people, disallow them from joining. Even those that are joined, you remove them. But you see, as I'm saying it, that's how I keep saying it. You want to pretend? Don't pretend. Namde Khan cannot be forgotten. You support terrorism by Nigerian government. But in Facebook, you are against peaceful agitation by IPOB. Now you see. Now you see it. How partial you are, how wicked you are to the people of Biafra. Especially IPOB. Political party election campaigners Nigerian bloggers that are only making their money. You allow their pages to grow, you don't know interruption, nothing, you don't have anything to do with their page. But to all these our pages, because we are under IPOB and you know IPOB is uncompromisable, then that is where you spend your time and energy. On our pages, monitoring our pages. But uh, those Nigerian bloggers with uh, hundreds of thousands of followers, you don't care because they publish you know, they publish P2P, right? And uh, you get money now and they get their money. But you see this IPOB, anywhere you see us, you'll be tackling us. And that is why we are the number one. And that is why we are informing you and your government that Namdekan can not be forgotten because 
Somebody that has void aged in the armpits. You see, have a injury accident on your leg, one leg, and they have a serious wound here. You cannot tell us that uh, how you slept in the night. Uh, you slept like a baby. Or that you are a liar. You can never sleep like a baby. Because you have problems all over your body. Not a problem. You have wounds. Then you have injury. And there is also boy. Even somebody that is on drip does not sleep like that. Talk more of somebody that have wounds. Even this leg, you cannot walk very well. I feel be I have breaking it. One leg of Nigeria. You are managing one. And the here, shame is all over here. With a serious wound all over the face of Nigeria. Shame. And you say you want to pretend that there is nothing happening. And this boy, you know, you must keep your hand like this. Or at least somehow, you cannot turn like a baby. Because he will to I to do And they are telling the world that you are now sleeping like a baby. We know how Nigeria swims. They swim even as they are being drawn in the sea or in the river. Even as the water has come here. For Nigeria to raise up their hands so that people will help them. They keep pretending. They bring their two hands down. You ask them, they say, you ask them, why is the water coming here? They say, that is how we swim. And we are watching them. I think that is how you swim. That's how you swim. You swim and the water will cover here. And you swim. And it will still cover. Until it cover your eyes. You'll be only seeing what is in the water only. That is when you will cry to the world. Because now, we are not getting tired. We keep pushing you until you fall inside the deep side. No, pretend. Nigeria, raise up your hands. They say, no, this is how we swim. They ask them, why is the water crossing your nose? They say, no, I just want it to be like that. <laughs> but you have been drawn. Only fools can be distracted by telling them, although through their emotion, no, no, because you need to, you need to do something else. As if we have been playing. And Nigeria have been spending their money. As if IPOB have been joking. And Nigeria have been blackmailing us. If we have been sleeping, why do they spend their money in blackmailing? Why do they pay IEP? Why do they pay international communities? Why are they bribing individuals to fight IPOB? Why are they sending terrorists? Why are they frustrated? To recruit terrorists into the army because of IPOB and police. Why? Because we know we, we our God who gave us the weapon to fight Nigeria. That is beyond human comprehension. Because that is why Nigerians and government officials, even citizens of Nigeria, the British citizens, uh, prison in Africa where every citizen is a condemned criminal. Even those condemned criminals, they don't even pity for themselves. Because a Nigerian citizen is a condemned criminal. A police can kill you, army can kill you. Recipe can kill you, poor you. Container can fall on the one and kill you, poor you are a condemned criminal. But they don't even pity for themselves. Even as IPOB and the Kano are here, is here to free them, they don't pity for themselves. And IPOB, we don't even feel sorry for ourselves. You want us to die? We die here. We don't feel sorry. I understand. No. But these people that are condemned already, we want to free them. They say they want to die. They are free to die, but for us to die with them, in their ignorance, we say no. We help you be want to be free. You can die with your stupidity with Nigeria. After all, you are a condemned criminal. You are dead already. You can be going between Lagos and the Expressway. One Fulani gang will come out and kidnap you, rape your wife and your daughters at the, in your presence. Then kill you. They will allow you to see it. They will rape them. Then kill, kill you. Uh, and 
that is to show that you are a condemned criminal sentenced to death in the British prison in Africa, called Nigeria, where the president is the controller general of prison, while the state governors are deputy controller general of prison. They manage the state prisons, which they call their, they say they are governors, lie, is a lie. The states in Nigeria are state prisons. Where deputy controller, that is DCP, manage. The government, the president is a controller general of prison. That's all, there's nothing like president. Which president? President, you want to contest, the British will approve you. You go to London for approval. So, what does your president look like? You go there for them to appoint you as the new controller general who will be controlling their prison in Africa. And when you come back, I'm a Nigerian, but nobody is alive. We are all sentenced to death. You import to goods, they will seize it. Two of us. You'll be running on the road, the container may fall because there is no good road. Customs everywhere, you know, navy on the road, not even in the city. Because everybody is hunting for you. You are already condemned. Even civil service, civil defense, they are hunting for you. You are already condemned. The day Nigeria was created, every citizen of Nigeria is a condemned criminal. After all, you are the ghost of Nigeria is a criminal. Uh, if it was a criminal, Lord uh, Frederick Lugard, a criminal, a thief, a thief created Nigeria. A harlot named the Nigerian. Flora Shaw. So everything about Nigeria is uh, useless. Facebook, I think you can understand. You can also block this one. We still come up from the other side. We are unstoppable. That's the last thing you can do to us is to stop us from saying the truth. So you want us to be sleeping like a baby. When you are, Nigeria have refused court order that a free dynamic, not even a Ghanaian court or German court, Nigerian court order that the state and acquitted in America, Nigerian court order, not a Tanzania court order, not a South African court order, Nigerian RP court order, the state and acquitted in America, 13th of October 2022. That's what we say, obey. Not in the court. Not under the Afra Constitution. Nigeria Constitution. Nigeria Constitution. You must obey. It doesn't matter how you do some kind. You must obey. Now the government is free. This is one point I am handing over to those that came in as a new government. If you like, you have IPOB in mind. That's your business. I'm handing over to you. Now, maybe you don't, you try to pretend. We want to tell you that we have no case. We can have no case to face in Nigeria. One, none of the charges that was amended against him because they ended up in amendment of charges. If you say charges prepared against him, you would think as if it was prepared once. So, None of the charges that was severally amended, because they kept amending charges, none of the charges that was severally amended by Nigerian government against Nandekan was left behind. It was all crushed in the Nigerian court. So, when you see some idiots who claim to be government official, they open their mouth, they talk about an American, they even forgot that he is not standing in the trial. And on that very stand, there is no legal detention warrant that is keeping him in the SN. Are you aware? There is no legitimate detention warrant. Because there 
there was a detention warrant. But a big court ruling destroyed the detention warrant. Then what we are asking is, which particular warrant are you keeping in America with? Because he, the warrant had been destroyed. When I was going to court in like this, this zoo, in Enugu, I went to court to under waiting trial for four years on a capital charge. I was discharged and acquitted. October 22. 20th. Immediately I was discharged in Ogu High Court, Ogu High Court, in Ogu. I was allowed. The warders could not be able to bring a handcuff closer to me again because I was discharged. And acquitted. The same thing they decided on America. There is what is there is the one they call discharge, only discharge, no acquitted. There is the one they call dismiss. There is another one they call caution and discharge. That is to say, the judge discovered that somehow you are involved. Somehow you committed it. Now you are being cautioned. And what next? Discharge. That one is different. Do you understand? I was discharged and acquitted, and nobody put me in handcuffs. Again, in the court premises. I was moving around, waiting for when the water should be through. Let us go back. Even if I want to go back, then I'm free. Because my warrant, that detention warrant that the waters used to bring me to court with or the warrant that they are that gave them the right to detain me the detention warrant immediately in that court the court clerk wrote on it dismiss then i went to him i went to her i asked her i want to see my warrant then i was freed now but then court have rise then I went to him. Let me see my warrant. He brought it. I look at it. Okay, she brought it. I saw it was written dismissed. I asked her, what are you, what did you write? He said, it's the same thing. I said, it's a lie. Write the pronouncement of the judge. You write what is dismissed. In the prison yard with the capital, with the capital charge. You want the warrant to free me. The warrant can never allow me to go. With this dismiss, you write here, the waters can never allow me. You can write dismiss on lower charges. Not when they, are, they gave you charge allegation. You know, you face what they wrote on the charges. Uh -huh. Even if you are different, you are putting your face is too uh, handsome, you are too so handsome, they don't care. What they care is what the police wrote as their charges. So he tried to tell me, I said, write what the judge said, the sergeant acquitted. Now, my lawyer was close at them. I called my lawyer and said, come and tell this man, this woman, to write what the judge said. He said that he have, she has written already, dismissed. The barrister said, cancel it. Because this warrant is not going to exist again. You are not saying, I want to keep it safe. The case ended today. The sergeant acquitted. So if you make a mistake on the warrant and write dismiss, cancel it and write it. The sergeant acquitted because it ends today. You cannot say you want to preserve the warrant so that it will be new. You don't want it to be stamped. Say what? It has not been stamped by the judge before you sign it. Right? Now you have to cancel it, write it, the sergeant acquitted. Then take it to the judge. If the judge say it is not accepted, then the judge will not sign. The judge will not stamp. But uh, you wrote it and gave it to the judge. He rewrite it. He now did it. 
He write the judge and acquitted. He cancelled the other one, dismissed, took it to the judge. The judge signed it and stamped it. Makataki give him like yeah my in a pronounce. And they call time they sit every Tuesday. I'm gonna go from that Tuesday till I'm not Tuesday. The court will get seat. Because the man they sit in high court, they look, they sit is all every Tuesday or go high court. Mark like I had a side lawyer. It will tell you what at the man who made the other side of the court. So at from that point, that moment, the warrant becomes null and void. It becomes useless because the case has ended. Now what I ask you, which warrant are you detaining on the canoe with? Because immediately he was decided and acquitted, the warrant became useless. That detention warrant. I stop you primary four, first step, Adia Makwama. I got a lot of money. I got a lot of This is very bad. I got a lot of money. You're going to go and go. Thank you. I'm going to go and go. I'm not going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to which I'm going to be more to specialists. I got S. I got S. So I went to the security situation. I'm not monitor, right? Uh -huh. So I'm a monitor. I'm going to move them to that place. You know, security first. I'm not monitor. I'm going to be there and there. Right? I am going to be there and I'm going to post to a post. Okay, then lost Madden Abana at the struggle. Right? I don't know how to say that I'm going 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 to say so I'm in denial of all for pens for it. Me, I've been there because I see you coming. I just read Koko one month, year 2020. So I'm in the business. I'm gonna go up now, but you know by here, you know, long time they last some million or two. Eba ni ne 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 go. So ne go up. I'm never gonna go. I'm gonna have them. It's why I'm going to do. It's a size trouble because I'm not born in it. I'm not here. <laughs> so, so uh, I'm gonna have got the treatment anyway. But him and the security now, I will bring him. You get feel nigga is on the land. Get that in there, Naka. Get that in there, Naka. Get so a boy. I stand in my room. Get manage when we walk up pence here. All the names of the now we have to reduce pence. Hey, I go go come and do this. That's him. Got got to specialist. Director called their name on Radio Biafra and the And the mission, why I was accomplished. Because I promised them longer opposite intimidation. And I stopped it since then, since 2020 to today. The receive by the pens are large. There's a whole trouble. But to do it, that is the matter. I was going to go back. I was going to go I'm going to be cool. I won't want to go so cool. Let me evidence is here in the moon. But I'm going to go back to the house. And I'm going to go back to the house. 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 A drone de la luna, boy, say, Nan of Bagan, I read your Nan de Cano Bragan. Oh, no, but now, but the village on the walking, bang game, I'm away here committee, call no way here committee. A man and the canon are by her mad nephew. No evidences. When you never had a meet, when you never had a meet, not dragging the matter. Who might write in the matter? 
human rights can they defend it? It's me boom. Want to save my people near Bawa? Now fight for me. Not a that area. My people are near Kenya. Me when landlord and other people and they have whatever that's now now here. And you see all that? Yeah, I got push you. I got push you here. I got push you. Complain that too much. Oh no, landlord. Oh no, oh no, landlord. Oh no, back as oh no, we are told me. I'm going to go near you. I'm going to go near you. I don't deal with that evidence. Cobbling with the direct order, cobbling with the direct order, cobbling with the direct order. What happens in the air? I'm cousin in here, cut or bara. That's the manant. It's going video here. In raw gun, they have confirmed more. Oh, Jeff, the direct order on a main house. I need a copy in here. All the new evidence. I am the DOS now working here. Each and again, you have a Jeff, you have the evidence in the other. The thing we get in our cash. In your hand, I've got the high choice in the evidence. Do you ever to the left touches one? Oh, touches one. I have no evidence. I won't have them at an acre. Now, if you take yourself, if you take that, now you have a pool. I'll go with you. Oh, that's his one, your guy. In our name, make analysis, make a map, do gather, draw question on here. Next, no one put the evidence in a good city. You know, for your life. You want to give a little bit of it, you really need to give a little bit of it. So I have not passed through, not at all. No, I'm a book at all. We are not going to get something about that. I'm trying to get a little bit of it. Right? So we continue. The battle continues. And we go and walk. I'm the temple of my young work. But our leader and I are not drunk. No, 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 so each of those things sacrifices. Right? Only So go on a paper. My the why can't you do that one? On the left line, oh, when those on the line, no matter, I know the media, I know the media, I know the media. I am a patient to have me. I am a potential media. Only can he do matter of mouth, no, no, no media. But no one upon the pens here, on upon the job. Before do you know the action? I know you are surrender. Actually, but the media now no on pens. Now no, you talk about the touch you buy. On on pay, on 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 pens, na no one. We took the rap one hour, Baba and Empire. We go, young woman, one hour. He continued the war. 1968. Right? We move. So, the case of Nam the Khan, don't be deceived. Nam the Khan cannot be forgotten. One, he don't have case. There is no one at keeping him. He's illegally in detention. The state of execution. That was granted by the Balami recruited a big court judges after transferring the main judges of our court of appeal that ruled on the case of on the appeal of Fulham Dekan 13th of October 2022. Those very Balami a big court judges that granted stay of execution. Without telling federal government to go and obey the court order first, because why it becomes why that thing is not I call it legal or why we say Namdekan is in illegal detention is because according to the law, the very court order must be obeyed first. Nam the Kano must be allowed to go home, enjoy his hard and victory. A hard trick score, hard trick, because the winning did not come easy. It wasn't cheap. You must allow him to go and enjoy it. Then you can find stay of execution, challenging the appeal court ruling. But this one, he was not allowed to enjoy his hard trick goal, which
which goals, not even a goal. Goals, he scored in a court. A court condemned the way he was brought to Nigeria, back to Nigeria. A scenario rendition, one goal. A court said he is discharged and acquitted. Two. A court said he will be paid, he will be compensated. A court said he will not stand any trial in any Nigerian court. Four goals. <laughs> and Nigeria get, got frustrated. Four goals so in a match. Malami want to walk to cancel our goals. Four goals in a match in a big court. You refuse to pay. That is of October. Hard trick because we saw Fulani recruited by Malami parading around the court premises with caskets. Written Namikan the terrorists. We also saw their big banner parading around the court premises. Written Namikan the IGB terrorists. We also saw their um, security intimidation. They intimidated IGB family members and around the court premises. We saw how the security agencies insulted our evil elders that came to stand in solidarity with them. We saw how they insulted our representatives. We saw how they insulted religious leaders. We saw how they insulted their from women. We even saw how they kidnapped Mrs. St. Jesse, Mama Biafra, kept her without charges. These things are, but we even saw when we came to court, they did not bring in Namdekan on his day of court. We saw the day they locked the door of the court and locked our lawyers out. This very victory by Namdekano was achieved. It was not easily achieved. It was a hard trick score. No, it was hard trick scores, not even a, because we have four goals there. If Nigeria is an individual, automatically the Court of Appeal have convicted Nigeria by founding them guilty on extraordinary rendition. Don't you know? For the appeal court to condemn the way Namikano was brought back to Nigeria <laughs> is a condemned convict. They just, the, the court convicted Nigeria. Just that they are just a, a, a what do you call, they, they are operating as a government. But the uh, government is a prison, author, a prison authority. Every Government official in Nigeria is a prison authority. You are a warder. The senators are warders. How? Because Nigeria is a British prison. All the citizens are condemned criminals. Police can kill you, and they can kill you. Accidental discharge. They can kill you because of 100 naira. A motorist, a driver, a container can fall from the trailer and kill you. Accident may happen through the road safety. The army will block the roads where the road is spoil. That is where they will have their checking point. They will torture you, they will kill you, they will collect your money. Fulani has men will come and kill you because you are a condemned criminal living in CC block. Condemned criminal block. That's where you are living. So you think you are alive. That's why you will be there. They will recruit terrorists into the army and police. Because they are coming to take care of condemned criminals. There is no good, there is no country that will recruit terrorists into the security agencies to come and secure normal people. No. It happened in Nigeria because all the citizens of Nigeria are condemned criminals. Therefore, terrorists will be, should be recruited into all the, what is it called? Security departments. To be killing the citizens at will, to confirm that they are condemned criminals. I may tell you who I'm at. Ogbo na ba ya mada level. Wait to hold on, you know no law. Ogbo ba kala no law. After defeating 
baby man and his gang chase them to government government in exile. Nigerian government has taken control of blackmailing of IPB. They have taken it back. They have taken it back. Thank you. Super heartbreak. Thank you. On this, we did go to the Nigerian court in the name of Biafra. I hear you did marry in a court. Commander Biafra, we did go. You are the one you yourself that is winning the match. Imagine when they marry now, Lord. And they want you to start war. I say, let us only they marry match. Captain, no man here now that play as a as. Even Nigerian team. Upon on a Brazil, they marry Atlanta '96 semi-final. Sorry, yes, semi-final. When they were scoring them two three, uh, uh, three one, there was one Brazilian player, Amara, that fell in the field. They waited for him to stand no way. Talibu West rushed. Talibu West and Sondoli say was angry. Talibu rushed to go and carry the Brazilian out of the field. Ucho Kechuku blocked them. He was calling them back. Because even as they are winning them, they still have in mind they will win. They don't want trouble. But the only foolish Biafrans was deceived in a match that you have won in all rounds. You put the last man in confusion because the goals we scores, we scored are very dangerous goals. You put the last man in confusion, you put the referees in confusion. They don't they don't they can't explain how we scored these goals. And you want to fight. Don't you know the match will be cancelled? So if the match is cancelled, will your goals remain? The answer is no. When the match is cancelled, every goal scored in the match, scored in the match have been cancelled. And that's what we are holding you in our match. Do you think there is something you can do with the gun? And it will give us what a solidary rendition can give us? Don't you know you must abide with IPOB command? To make sure you make use of the extraordinary rendition. My It's a colony. You are very, very mad. In my age, extraordinary rendition, me. No, I'm not a to the lab. But I didn't have a job. extraordinary rendition. Udi and the on a He said, I wanted the arrest to start in the West. That Obama was too clever. Obama is learned. He was studied very well. He went to sorry. He's educated. He said Obama is educated. He is also civilized. But I wanted him to arrest him. Then let us go to court. I told Pengugua. Obama dodged. I faced the became a wrong. He dodged. We faced the Pope. Pope dodged. They push Buhari to arrest him. In Mota Mohammed, Lagos, Mota Mohammed Airport, Lagos, 2015, October 14, Namdekano was kidnapped. Right? He lasted in their hand two days before we started shouting on Radio Biafra. Then they now agree he's with them. They transferred the Namdekano from Lagos by 2 a.m. to Fort Headquarters in Abuja. From first six quarters, he was transferred to DSS. Thank you! I demand now. Extraordinary rendition. The only one who could secure Yana Ghana, Koji Kwechi. I hear the chat court ruling. In a car, car, car. Ojuku went up to Nigeria, Ojuku went and discussed Nigeria and Ghana. Nigeria, not to be asked. He went and discussed Nigeria. Coming back, Nigeria disagree with Nigeria. <laughs> oh, you know, 
they refuse to tell us the truth. Ojuku went with the Gaugawan and discussed Nigeria in Ghana, which the Nahankara presided over the Nahankara. Coming back here, the same people that say Nigeria, they disagree with the Nigeria. Then allow us, they started killing us, so bringing our dead bodies back to the East. We now say, okay, if you don't agree with the Nigeria, because we went and discussed Nigeria. If you don't agree with the Nigeria and you are still killing us, then it's better we start on our own. Because you don't agree in Nigeria. We went and discussed Nigeria, equivalent to the structuring. Even the regional government, anywhere, as some people have been deceived with the activities of Ambazonia, that their government officials return back which is true, right? It was easy for them because they are in charge of their region. They have already had that thing that Tujuku went for them. So for having in charge, being in charge of their region already, why they have their representative? Because just like, so they have the authority to bring their people down back at any time because they are in charge, they have, they control their border. But our own, that is why when people refer you to something, you ask them, how are those people operating? That thing, Ojuku went and discussed with them, which is still in one Nigeria, right? Secure these people, secure their life. What we're after is secret. Why did we launch ESN security? The only thing that can be a problem with anybody with the difference is security. Why did our voice start going high on Lagos? Is security. They started killing us. Why did we launch yes and security fully killed us? Why are we shouting about everything we talk about? Whenever you hear the voice of Biafrans, you know that their lives are in danger. If it is to subdue Biafrans, it's a lie. They will be crying among them. Crying among them is planning on how to be out from your policy. How to succeed. But before you hear their cry, voice out, or okay, you are tampering their life. Hence, you go closer to the life of their friends, or okay, you must hear our voice. Go and study any way, whatever they make you to hear our voice. Know it that they are tampering our life. We name the human being in Mando. Immediately you come closer, you may try, you may demolish our business. So we know we are blessed. We can shift to the other side and start another one. But you see that life, that life, you may depart also. We plan to travel again. You see that life, immediately you will by it, or you will hear our voice. You must. You must hear our voice. That is it. Now, Nigeria disagree with the Nigeria. Now we declare the Africa they said we must be Nigeria. But we went and discussed Nigeria. <laughs> you know, the more they delay us, the more we'll be exposing them. Until they again we say backyard. You know, if you are clever enough, you save your backyard. But now they don't want to have backyard. So we will expose it. Like we promised the media, they will be at the middle. People that are not following IPB, they don't understand. They are concocting this their fake um, that this is their blackmailing on IPB on US attack on US convoy because US government are also pressuring them to free them the can. So in order to bring them the, you know for them to pedal low or slow, they want to tell them that IPOB want to kill your staff, IPOB killed your staff, IPOB is with the IPOB you are feeling on their behalf. They, are, they attack your, your staff. But what I am asking you is, if you believe Nigeria government, because uh, somehow we are going closer to our oil, you know, taking it, you know, at well, you know, even they will even be helping you to load it. You know, you are a white man. If you come to steal from us, we'll help you and load it on your vehicle or anything. No, you are white now. 
Yeah, you will steal us, we will pack it for you. So, but we are asking you, in the same way you are listening to Nigeria, what about the terrorist sponsors, sponsors of Boko Haram? You publish their name. Have you asked Nigerian government, how many of them are in detention? How many of them have been taken to court? How many of them have been interrogated? Do you now see how the things are? Now, you be, you are, I want the U.S. to ask Nigerian police again. Please, can you publish the names of all the Boko Haram that was recruited into the police? <laughs> now, U.S., you can understand why they recruit them without announcing their name, without publishing their name. They only give you a number of repeated Boko Haram. 500 because repeated Boko Haram. 1,200. What are their names? Because they know I will name, we will know their name if we see them at the checking point in my community. <coughs> and for your information, those very terrorists, they say repented, they have their special terrorist commander. Now you know. The same way they are in police, the same people was used in attacking U.S. comfort because only the government and the security can have the intel of such movement of a, of foreign comfort from Lagos to Anambra. Only the government will have the intel. Individuals are or as they call the state actor cannot have the intel. Of such movement. So what are you telling us? What are you not telling us? That you want to prove yourself right? That's why you send army to be killing us in our world. Smart and you gather some people and say, hey, they, so IPOB and the ESN that attacked US convoy. But no fool of me that killed a Hamufu people is in court. No fool of me that killed Nimbo people is there. No flurry that killed people, even in Benue, is in court. None of them that killed in um, Plaji is in court. None of them that killed in Kaduna is in court. None of them that killed in different parts of Nigeria, even in Yoruba land, they are in court or in detention. But uh, uh, police have arrested suspected IPOB ESN. That are uh, uh, suspected to be the those uh, those that attack U.S. comfort. But even the police that they have to rig the election, none of them, uh, no one is facing trial. No, they perfected their they, they, they did their job very well, you know. But we saw police helping to rig the election. We saw police standing like this watching them. No one is facing trial. But America is saying, look, oh, make sure there is transparency. They now want to cover their crime that Fulani has men is the purpose why ESN was launched. But they told you that the people that rushed, that escaped through the bush are IPOB ESN. But ESN came to stop Fulani has men. And ESN does not operate in communities. Enugu State. Yes, thank you. On the attack, no, that attack on our people, I will not come with it now. It needs to go, a special, you know, there is a um, press release from IPOB. Right? And um, we need to make it a video. But through the statement of the new, a, a new appointed governor, because no elected governor will come up and say, I ban civil disobedience. So, Peter Mpa of Enugu is an appointed governor. He said he banned IPOB sit at home. Thank God he did not say uh, autopilot, because they don't have sit at home. They have a uh, force at home. Now, everybody knows that the sit at home is IPOB. That is why if you order for it, we will tell you it is wrong. Because we own it. We establish it. Right? Uh -huh. We know how we started it. You cannot use it. It is not in your community. In your maternal home, they don't have it. Before you, your great-grandfather was born, no community has it at home. They don't call for it. 
Ojuku did not use it at home. So, because you were born from the East, you have the right to call for sit at home. 1998, do you know about sit at home? 2006, do you know about sit at home? 2005, do you know? Thank you. You don't know about sit at home. But he did to call for sit at home. you have right? Is it that you that you call for or did they reorganize it? Did you establish? Did you campaign? Did you write letter? Did you do? Did you campaign? Do you know how it came? Then how do you know how to use it? Is it your weapon? Is it a weapon of armed men? It is a weapon of civilians. So how come people that hold gun go for statue? Now we go back to Peter Mba. Now you know that IPOB is in charge of sit at home on civil. That is civil. Disobedient, it is, isn't it? That is one thing I'm taking there. Uh, your pronoun, you say you ban IPOB sit at home. That one signifies that IPOB owns sit at home. Fine. But on the other hand, you can never ban civil disobedience. It is an activities of willingness. Somebody will willingly do it. Not by gunpoint. Even you, you will sit at home. If there is anything that calls and I feel call for slap, you will sit at home, pit and bang. Or you start running around the new, that's your business. But you will sit at home. Sit at home. We do not do it with force. We know that's why all of you contracted infiltrator to be to make sure they demonize is sit at home. So that by this time, all of you will be singing it by song, like song. So then people will know that sit at home is helpful. But our people knew how to establish sit at home and they knew IPOB sit at home. They don't believe in force at home because our people are democratic in nature or by nature. They hate anything force. If IPOB have been, have been forcing or enforcing it, they will not obey. When Eberima Simon and his gang started enforcing, they keep seeing people in market because you cannot enforce our people. When you will see our people is when you bring a heart, you bring your you bring it on them, heart. That is when you know what is in them. IPOB knows how to follow them. Now you know only civilians can call for sit at Now you know, Petamba, but you cannot stop it. Now we move to the other side. The newly elected governors in the east. We want all of you with that come back. One, those that are handed over to you are not safe. You yourself, you are not safe. Senator in the north is not safe. Governor in the north is not safe. President is not safe. Nigeria is have been overrun by terrorists. Even the security that is securing you, Pitamba, they have recruited Boko Haram. That is one thing. So do not think you are safe. You are not safe. I myself am not safe. Everybody in Nigeria, both governors are condemned criminal. You can be killed at any time. Mind this one. But if you have IPOB in mind, any governor that have IPOB in mind, remember that there was Python dance. Remember there was invasion of Nam the Gano's house. Remember that there was seven graveyards discovered in the bushes in Biafra land after Python dance. Remember who was thrown there? Woman being Bia France, IPOB family members. Are you aware? Do you know that there is ongoing kidnapping and kill? Do you know that there is killings in Imo, kidnap and kill? Nigerian Army and Police, they are doing it. Does it check IPOB? So if any of you can even do worse like us, we will like it. Because what we need is stronger hands. It will always indicate IPOB. Strong hands. That's why we love the 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 government of uh, the Buhari when he was alive. Not government of Buhari. Buhari died, and there was government of Buhari that was piloted by impostors, right? But when Buhari was alive, we love it now because he would do it very hard. You know, these people that committed crime, kidnapped Namdekano in Kenya, and Namdekano defeated them. In everything from 2015 to 2022, 20, Nandikano defeated them. 
that the people owe us. They owe us the ruling of Justice Ademola 2015, the charge, uh, discharge unconditionally. They are owing us the discharge of Johnson 2016, discharge unconditionally. They are still owing us the bail. We met the condition in the court of Bintanyaku 2017. That's still owing us because they did not allow us to enjoy the bail. Now, Omar have verdict, State High Court, 19 January. 2022. The court that ruled on the attack on Nnamdekano's house in Akaroku, which ruled that Nnamdekano did not jump bail, but he escaped military at an assassination attempt. Have they obeyed? No. The UN order, have they obeyed? No. They are still owing us. Um, appeal court ruling October 13, 2022. Have they obeyed? No. Omaha um, Federal High Court ruling on extraordinary rendition, 20th of October 2022. That the Sergeant Afghan and order that he should be returned back to Kenya. Have it been obeyed? They are owing us. Namikan is not owing anybody. He's illegally in detention. So, <coughs> excuse me. If a new government, they hand the Namikan case over to you. Know you that they are handing empty file to you. You should not come up and say, I have grant. If nobody have grant on the case of Nnamdikan. Rather, Nnamdikan have the grant to take you to any place for you to come and explain why he's still illegally in detention. So, if you are a government or government official, or you have been appointed as members of the common cabinet of this very rigged in government, this um, very INEC government, which Tudupu is piloting, because this is INEC government, not the government of the people, this very INEC government, right? Mind you that you are not going to take down the county to court for trial. So do not think you have any advantage to hold down the county. You have been discharged and prohibited from standing any trial. He had been discharged and acquitted though, I did not have the acquitted. And prohibited by the court though, from standing any trial in any Nigerian court. So what will any government boast with? And expect people to come and beg you. Though government officials can beg you, you know, that's what makes you president to free Namdekan. But IPOB does not beg because our victories in court was hard earned. Why? Is because we were under, they were kidnapping us while we were going to court. In our home, so they were killing us, they were sending army to invade our communities. They were torturing us, they were intimidating us in court premises. They were also attacking our lawyers. So, none of our victory is cheap or came cheap, or was cheap. Yes, yeah, this is the government, not the people's government, you know. <laughs> Thank you. You know, some people don't know. About five people behind on that Do Dude, I don't know how to do it, but I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to government, you know. So, the INA government should know that Nandikanu's case is not like an egg result. Because we don't have any trial. We, we don't have charge. This one is not a, you bribe by neck. They did. There is no bribery. After all, the Attorney General, anyway, is somehow good. Falana. Okay. After all, Nandikanu knows about him anyway. Have also sent for him about his case. But now he has been appointed. We know that God will also use him because whether you, you try to be wicked type you be, God is also using you to free Biafra. If you try to be nice, God is just blessing you because we will remember you when Biafra come. But mind you that whether you are good or bad type you be or turn on the canon, you are helping us to restore Biafra. But the one that will favor you is 
to preserve your name by doing the right, not to favor IPOB, do according to Nigerian constitution because we have been following and obeying Nigerian constitution. Don't say you are favoring IPOB and no, 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 no. So what we want to tell them is that whether you come hard on IPOB, our God is also using you to free us, you know. Uh -huh. Then, well, if you are good according to the constitution, not good to be favorable, we don't do it, like, we don't want anybody to favor us. That's why we endure all these things because we want to prove to the world we can keep to any laws. Any law you break, we can keep to it and maintain it. Then, have, are there no see laws in their countries? The first thing we teach our people is the laws here. What these people don't want in this country. You see here, you come, if you do this one, my hand out of the wire, I come out the wire. Any of our person that bring you to any place, go to town, go to country, anywhere, he will tell you, eh, what is your son do with that? Son do with that. It's one hand laugh. laughing. I know what my woman, only why not get doing it? It's a kitchen. I went there, I beat your man a kitchen. I get you get to know a Muslim. You have a little can name, a hand name, and all one. Right? So we try to prove it to the world now. Our car is a Saturday edition. How many do you think? They fell. Oh, you can actually come. And do you think about me? I've become free. No, 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 no. They committed crime now. If they committed crime against politicians, they will be free. You committed crime against Namdekano and IPOB, freedom fighting movement. Oh, God, we don't stop. We take you to any length. You can do it to Dino Melaya. You can do it to anybody. You can do it. You can even do it to S Nigerian president. It doesn't move anywhere because the person is corrupt. Namdekano is not corrupt. He has not worked in any Nigerian office. He has not been a civil servant in Nigeria. Thereby, you don't have any point to probe you. That's why no Nigerian politician has the grant to tackle any government. No, you just shout. After shouting, ESCC will message you. <laughs> Remember about this uh, fraud. You know, we are tracing a fraud. Fraud to your account, you know. Uh -huh. From there, you submit that. If your people come to you, if you are clean us, you say, oh, we'll take shame, you could not that. Because ESCC have test you a message. You are corrupt. If they tell you, no, but I'm just supporting people to tell the person to go and come on, go and sit down. Support. Somebody that put Buhari. He don't want you to condemn him after Buhari left. He now want to play safe. He said, I'm supporting people. I told the media, immediately you hear the voice of a person, you are gone. Do you know why? He's trying to suppress the voices of the youth. Those that are supposed to be aiming out. They will say Obasanjo is now speaking on their behalf. They will now go mood. It is what we studied. We'll tell you Nigeria now. Obasanjo came and that overshadowed the voices of the youth, which can be heard more than their own. The voice of ordinary youth can be heard more than the voice of any politician because they are corrupt. They cannot stand any government and be bold enough. Forget what they are saying. Yes, it's your message. In order. In order, you can sleep. You can sleep. You can make it. Through a force. If yes, it's your message, you can ban both. Ask yourself, why do they start sending our messenger to ceremonies? Anything that they they will call him. Anything that in this is a man who go tear his membership of uh, PDP three months before election. He dumped Jonathan. After Buhari have useful and to kill people, he now tried to play safe. Instead of Nigerian you to come against him and of course him and say is a lie, Papa. You are the one that brought Buhari. He want to pretend he played the smart politics. I told him immediately I hear his voice. I made this broadcast. I said, Baba Sanjo is playing the smart politics. He want to hide from his crime. Every crime of Buhari was committed by Obasanjo because he also is the last one that introduced Buhari and condemned Jonathan. Do you understand? Thank you. Thank you. That's what. 
P2P was the other side, tell them, could I, as it, are you freedom fighters? You own Nigeria with P2P. They stole your mandate. You are, with, is it, are you fighting for P2P? You are fighting for your mandate. You would have fight. He said, you are waiting order from P2P. You are a fool. I am Nigeria youth. I am Nigeria youth. Do they have youth? This is two times they have tested you. You are gone. And says, they cannot warn you. If you stop, you are gone. You stopped. You come again with the election. You stopped again. You, you are gone forever. If they hear Nigeria youth, any, if I say anybody on my side, I said Nigeria, I will spit on your face. You are a fool. Only IPOB can stand the ground. They can stand the heat. You know, Nigeria youth. Nigeria and You did not stand in size one. They took your palliative. You went and stole it. You turn to a thief, they turn you to a thief. And they were in the position to shoot you because you were a, you were vandalizing. <laughs> so now you came back with the election. PVC, PVC, PVC. After you might have voted. Did the P2B call you? Were you not the people that say we we'll support P2B? You said among these people now, let us support you to be, it's like you'll be better. He's young, he's uh, been a governor, he's dead. After you support him, because when he come out, he did not discuss with you, you started supporting him. Now, you know that, you know, you supported him because your vote must go somewhere, not on the air. Now you casted your vote. You are still waiting for central command from P2B to defend your vote. Are you fighting for freedom or an independent country? No. You are fighting in the same political space, you know. So you must have to go hard on them. It belongs to you. Our goal is that we need freedom, freedom from the country. So now we'll be so calculative. Not to destroy you yourself. You Niger that still believe Nigeria. We don't want to destroy your property. We want to destroy Nigeria itself. You know, you are the, you are, you are a Nigerian citizen. You are not Nigerian property. Nigerian property are the people they lied to. In order to cage you, the people they gave oil to. How do we destroy them? We will tell them the truth about Nigeria. And we will persevere over all Nigerian attack on us. In order to prove them wrong and expose them to the world and prove our activities right. Though they, are, they provoke us, not trying, they are provoking us, but we keep proving Nigeria wrong and prove IPOB right because we persevere, we endure. Thank you. Right? So, Nigerian youths are cowards. Are you waiting for central command like IPOB? You are mad. They stop you from voting in Lagos. You did not do anything. Then after voting, they rig the election. You went to Abuja and you raise a play card. Play card you raise up during answers. It didn't work. You didn't stand it. Now you have the last chance. If everybody will die, let them die. You still go back again. You are now in your blood. But within a few weeks ago, now Peter B is serious in court. Peter B is going to win them. Peter B now, uh, there will be no swearing in. You see, I'm not that. In case they will swear in it now. In case they will, somebody, Chineke, Kereke, Asim, Naga swear in. And I'm gay man actually. So as well in eh, Muslim Christian who were 2019. There was a Muslim Muslim, part of the agitation of Boko Haram, part of the agitation of Boko Haram has finally been achieved. It seemed no way. Somebody is going to go an infidel that I caught to stop the owners of the country. An infidel. I was like, I said, no wonder you don't know his. An infidel, Obito B. Come and I'm going 
go Muslim, Muslim. Come here, what? You are, you are a fool. That's why you, 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 you know, give my own Nigeria into a fool. Now you know that that job is strong. Our leader is in detention. We are still strong. You yourself, your P2B is outside you. But you want him to give order so that you, you are immediately he say you can do, uh, he's, he's in court. So if you want to defend your mandate, you can defend. Immediately he say it, bam. He will be in jail. They will charge him for treasonable felony. Because ABC will now commit the crime. Not Nigerian, you do have moral. ABC have their standby boys that will destroy something in Nigeria and kill people. Then P2B will go to jail. When you were saying, now nah, P2B should allow us to do something as if you can do something. ABC have standby people that will do it in the name of P2B. They have them that have been recruited do it. Just to hear a comment from him. They will carry on this, the attack and the media will carry it. Labor, 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 obedient. They did it. Peter will be arrested. <laughs> and they want him, man or never, you want him to go to jail because of your stupidity, your cowardice. Can't you defend your mandate? No, you don't want to defend your mandate. Each of it will be gang. But I'm going to say Nigerian youth, you want to take it, you claim it. You don't want to defend them. You want to take Nigeria back. Those pastors that uh, they paid to be inviting people to, to their church, how far? Are they not worshiping now? They are worshiping now. It is okay. They use them. The celebrities that was telling you, hey, without PVC, you will not come to my office. Where are they? They use them. They will still come up with a new agenda. They came with the change, the other one. Did you not change? Did you not follow them and change? Uh -huh. They came with the corruption war. Did they fight it? They established corruption. They promoted corruption. But you had them. Corruption, corruption. Why against corruption? Why against the insurgency? That Go, 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 go. The same, all these celebrities, they promoted them. The same pastors. To the Delebacari the, to the, to the or to the or what? Somebody or among them is appointed um, among Tinubu's cabinet. It may be him. One of the Yoruba, this thing, one of them have been appointed by Tinubu among the cabinet. And this is the part, the area Ojo Zokalo and Co. used to deceive you with. Now, Tinubu, when he was a governor in your flag state, Christians walk under him. And immediately they tell you this thing. You take, back, you take them back. You give them back something. How do you do it? That when Gwani was president, Osibanjo was vice. Was the Christian safe? That's the question you ask an idiot who start pointing at Christians under Tinubu's cabinet. Now, Christians. You keep the Christians aside. Bring only vice president. When a vice was a Christian to Muslim, did you feel I mean not kill you? Did I mean not kill you? You will defeat the idiot in argument of Osusupo. What did the Christian benefit from Osibanjo? Hey, a Catholic member was appointed by Shetima to be his advisor. When Osibanjo was vice, did the Christian achieve anything? Did the border get justice? <laughs> did they not kill you in Lekki? As a Christian was a vice. Now, nah, Christian now nah, in their government. But the Christian was a vice president. Christian, no, oh, was it That's when you were massacred. That's when you get the highest injustice. Now, I'm becoming more different. I'm therefore more 
we must be restored. Nobody can prove us wrong apart from the freedom. Who are you? Can any human be? No. Is it in God? God can never. Only the freedom can prove us wrong. And then it's hatred, blackmail, killings, intimidation, disobedience to God. Others. This one is just ingredients to the strength of IPB. You are just adding it ingredients. You know, when you add one wickedness, you add ingredients to the strength of IPB. You know, we get more strength. So don't think it has any effect. No, it doesn't. It strengthens us because we don't have back to return. Do you understand? We don't have back to return. What we have is only front. There's no back now. The back has been occupied. No back. The whole places we cross we are dangerous. We fought gallantly to cross them. We cannot go back. I demand now. And we will continue to push. Deal with them. In truth and in honesty. May Chukwu Adiyama continue to protect all of you, guide you, provide for you, Strengthen you. Favor you. Free them they can. Protect IPOB. Directorate of state members. Protect IPOB lawyers. Protect ESM. Protect IPOB family members. Give more wisdom. Understanding. And excellent knowledge. To the leadership of IPOB. The lawyers of IPOB. And they continue to energize Namdekan in his incarceration. And whoever you may use, whether in a hard way or in a soft way, through the Nigerian government to facilitate the freedom of Biafra and then the can Use that person. Because from the book of Exodus, from 20 or 22, he said that until the cry and the groaning of the children of Israel as go high. That place was saying that it was when their prayer, when their cry and groaning go and their suffering was much, was increased. They cried and prayed and God listened to them. We know Chukwabiam, we have cried. We have prayed. Some of our people are doing as if they are not in pain. Whoever you may use, as you use so many government, to send the Jewish back to their place. Whoever you may use, don't kill our, don't allow them to kill our people. Not in abroad. We need whatever you may use, whoever you may use on our people in any part of Nigeria to force them back home. Any government you use, use them. Not the people in abroad. No. Chukwa we are asking you to do this for us. Our people need to face back home. Turn their face back home. Those in the Nigeria. Bless our people. Keep them away from the traps of the enemy. Let ESN Personnel have more than 10, 10 eyes. Let every part of their body have eyes. So that they will be seeing the enemy even in the dark. Now they can let you do because you use this new governor selected 
to make our people to join their agitation. Whatever you will use them to do, to push our people into this very genuine agitation by IPO be do it. We don't want to relax in Nigeria. Nigeria can never be comfortable to us. As we are already in fire, if the fire will increase for our people to be wise and take home, let the fire increase. In Nigeria, not in abroad. Narek then a road to Ne Nebuch. Nahadi. Chi Uku Okiki. Abia Ama Pro Ime Ihenile. We have prayed. He said. He said. He said. Thank you. Omochilek. <laughs> Let me free the Facebook stars. He said, Thank you. I want to free Facebook stars. Let them go and at least. <laughs> Let them go and rest. They have been busy all this while with their computer. Thank you. Thank you. We want to free them to go and enjoy their life. <laughs> Facebook at all of that. Hey! Even if you have 50 friends or followers, as far as you are talking about Nambikano and the IPOB, ah, your account has been submitted by Lai Muhammad. They have submitted the account. He said, hey, I don't have followers. Oga, they have submitted your account <laughs> to show you are very important. But you don't have gone. No? You don't have gun, but they are fighting your account. But they are telling you, you are not doing anything that government is spending on you. Don't you know you are spend, you are causing them a lot? They are spending on you now. They are giving bribe on your head. <laughs> but you don't take yourself as anything because you don't have gun. From me, fearless IPB evangelist, Mazi, Madam Chumachuku, and from here, our homeland radio Biafra in Biafra land. It is 